Okay, had a chance to get out there and have our first true uh, morning practice for uh, what's what's considered our first true two-a-day. So it's kind of nice to get up early, get out of bed, hustle over, and get started. And uh, kids did some good things. I think probably the biggest uh, biggest eye opener today was uh, Irv Phillips. Really played well today. Did a lot of things. Caught some balls down the field. Ran the ball well. Made a nice little juke in the red zone. <clears throat> and uh, so that was good to see. Um, and then, um, you know, Kendall Moore played some tight end again today and did a nice job. Did a nice job. We're using the tight end a little bit more than we did in the past with some things. So it was good to see um, with him moving back out there, um, you know, some good uh, production out of that position. And he kind of led the way. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so all in all, pretty good day. Um, yesterday, didn't get a chance to see you guys. So yesterday's practice was, was good. Uh, was real impressed with Jawan Dowles, played really well. Um, I felt like both George Morris and Devontae McFarland uh, played well yesterday. They both had big runs, a couple big broken uh, plays. On the other side of the ball, uh, up front, uh, Zaire Franklin made a ton of tackles. Um, been impressed with um, uh, Paris Bennett as well. You know, he's kind of uh, taken over the Sam linebacker position for us. So, so some good things there. Um, and Ron Thompson has a lower body injury, and yeah, probably going to be a couple weeks. So we'll try to be real smart with that, get some good rehab on on uh, that. And then uh, we're just looking forward to having a great practice today, backing off tomorrow, and then uh, you know waiting for the lights to come on and have a little fan fest, and uh, get a chance to uh, get out there in front of some folks here in the community. So, you know, it's free admission. Can't wait, can't wait to get out there. Can't wait to see little kids. Bring your kids, bring your kids. It's free admission. Let them run around. Afterwards, we're gonna get a picture with, uh, with the kids. We're gonna get a, pic, uh, a picture with the kids and the team. So uh, if anybody out there in the community wants to bring their children out, uh, they'll be part of our, our team picture, our team fan fest picture. So, so with that, any questions you guys might have? Without any academic or uh, injury <coughs> issues with Ivan Foy, what do you think his ceiling is this year? Oh, I don't know. We're just going to try to get better one day at a time. Um, you know, daily improvements, the theme. So, probably won't, probably wouldn't say much more than that. Scott, Dan, I know it's, I know it's a ways off, but yeah. Syracuse, Wisconsin was announced. Just what your thoughts are about that matchup? Well, like you said, it's a ways off. I know uh, <laughs> playing up, I've, I've had the opportunity to coach up there uh, against them, Camp Randall, and. Uh, it's a great place to play. And it'll be a good experience for our kids when we get to that point. And uh, you know, bringing good a good Big Ten school into the dome like Wisconsin will be kind of cool too. And you know, we have a lot of ties out there. A lot of a lot of guys on the staff have recruited that area, whether it be uh, Wisconsin or you know Chicago. That whole area, we've uh, we've got a lot of familiar friends, high school coaches. We've done a lot of clinics out there for years. Um, and as you guys know, our quality control. With the with the secondary is Alba Hansborough, and he's from he's from uh, you know that area there. So he'll be excited to get out there. I don't know if he'll be here by then. He may be hopefully a coordinator himself somewhere. But uh, it'll be pretty cool to play Wisconsin. Great program, great tradition. Two two schools with great tradition get an opportunity to play to play each other down the road. I think that'll be good. With a with a rebuilding team, Scott, do you like playing that marquee? game that maybe Syracuse isn't expected to win or do you like kind of the Duke North Carolina State the way they've kind of built their reputation on I think you got you got to play uh, you know you play uh, you always play up you just don't want to play three or four up especially with who we play we're going to have you know annually we're going to have top 10 team in Clemson and Florida State so we're going to get those in conference which is most important but then you need to be creative with your scheduling and and play a big, and then and play some good major, mid majors, and try try to get a good FCS game. That's my opinion on that. And uh, I think moving forward, those are some thoughts that we've had. With Fan Fest tomorrow, what can we expect to see, and what can you get out of a scrimmage for your team? Well, it'll really be the first time we get some some true live scrimmage work. We've been hitting, we've been thumping a little bit, but we haven't been, uh, you know, we haven't been going all out. So we'll see some all outs, and you'll see some. Uh, some tackling going on, uh, you know, with, with the secondary, and uh, you'll see some oppor or have some opportunities to see the kids just let it loose a little bit more. Um, you also get a chance there towards the end of the scrimmage to see the young kids play. You know, we're going to try to have a period there at the end, and it may be 
eight to ten plays, but uh, there'll be eight, eight to ten plays where they get to list, you know let it let it rip, turn it loose. So more than anything, a chance to see where we are um, with regards to tackling, and maintaining, sustaining blocks. You know things don't happen, things that don't necessarily happen in a traditional practice. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And then uh, the other part of it is just I think I, I know the kids will be excited to get out in front of the fans. And uh, you know by the time we get into the scrimmage, a little bit sun will be going down, and you'll get that that Friday night lights type feel. You know, so for me, I always like playing outside during the night. Now coaching, I guess, but. Uh, so I think you'll, you'll see, I know you'll see a little bit more energy out of everybody and a um, chance to go live, really. That's the biggest thing. Scott, uh, John Raymond and John Thompson are kind of your two returners on the defensive line who have shown they can play pretty well when yeah. healthy. How concerning is it for those guys to be dinged up? Well, I feel more concerned about them as, as people, individuals, but our focus is, you know, let's let's go to the next next guys and develop them. So there's a there's, uh, silver lining there, but uh, it's not like they're out for the season or anything like that. You know, and they've played a lot of football. So, uh, you know, in some regards, knowing that we have a lot of young kids up front, it gives those young kids a chance to get reps, maybe uh, more with the ones, so they can say, hey, this is even faster than I thought it was, and uh, get a feel for the game through, uh, you know, quality rep repetition. So we'll get those two guys back here, you know, not too long. 21, 21 days out right now, so have some time to get him healed up. <coughs> Dallas was in here last night and said he'd be surprised if Amir Ely didn't make an impact this year for you guys. What have you seen in just the last month, really, summer workouts in the first week? That yeah, I think, that right, sure. No, I think both Kadir uh, Shepard and Amir Ely, Jake Pickard, probably Kadir um, and Amir a little bit ahead of Jake. Jake's still growing into himself. Um, but uh, I think uh, Amir does have good ability and It'll be interesting to see his progress day to day, you know, the next 21 days, to be honest with you. Um, but, uh, you know, I think, I think those kids have a chance. Chuck Bull said yesterday to us that there's really three safeties and five cornerbacks all competing for starting spots. Is it unsettling at all to not have any guys who are like really outright starters at this point? Or? Well, shoot, I'd love to have a couple All Americans coming back that have been around <laughs> for three or four years, uh, but we don't. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of used to that uh, on defense. I uh, don't know why, but for whatever reasons, you know, you're, I've, I've had to play a lot of young corners or flip guys over. And shoot, I can remember, uh, I think it was my second year here where we had to move Damon Merkerson over, and he's a wide out, and we got him to play in a week, and he did okay. And, you know, these kids have been playing a lot longer than a week. Um, I like them. I like Hudson. I like Dowles. You know, their, their addition to the, the corner position. You know, five. I think we have five quality corners that are competing, and really on any given day, I would be okay seeing any of those kids line up outside. Feel confident about that. Um, then the safety position. There's a little bit more development that has to go down. Um, you know, with their mental mental uh, approach, there's a lot more going on in the middle. And you know, we do we do a few things on defense, so the learning curve for them is a little bit more. But um, we have willing kids at a work hard at it and we'll be okay. Time for two more questions. How have uh, <coughs> Donnie and Luke looked playing defensive ends the first week of camp? Not bad, not bad. Um, I think the biggest thing is continuing to work with consistency. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing them play tomorrow night, to be honest with you. Both Luke. those guys, those are two guys that I'm looking forward to, you know, going out there live and playing some live football. Is Luke still kind of a uh... Has he, has he still separated himself from the freshman group? I know he's still relatively new to the position, but I think we'll see tomorrow night a lot more. To be honest with you, it's a, it's real, for me on that side of the ball. It's hard until we get some some real live tackling on tape to really see. And what happens is you know they're in position, so you say okay, they know what they're doing. They're in position, everything looks good. Their eyes, their feet, their hands, their body position, and then um, now you got to see if they can finish. You know, and that's. That's you know with guys that haven't played a, a lot of football on defense, uh, you can't you can't say well they helped us maybe in the kicking game or they helped us. You have to say can they help us especially up front by finishing those plays. And the only way you know is to go live, and you need to be smart you know, about how often you go live. So I'm excited to see those kids in particular play tomorrow night. Last question. Coach Lester was saying yesterday that the, kind of the technique aspect of having switched to the left side of the line 
It's a little slow at first. How has he done so far? Let's say it again. I missed the first part. Uh, Coach Lester was saying yesterday kind of the technique aspect of Ivan's switch to left tackle was kind of slow at first in the spring. How has he done so far this week? Much better. He looks at home. He's improved a bunch. Let me get Danny real quick. Kentarius Womack, we saw him throwing and then wearing a green jersey yesterday. Just what you can say about his position right now. Yeah, well, we we're, we moved him out to play some wide receiver to see how he would do. And he looks like he could be pretty good there. So I'm excited about that. And so is he. And the uh, thing I love about him, he's a very unselfish kid. He, he kind of cut me off when I was telling him that I'd like him to go out there and said, Coach, I'm okay. You just do do what you got to do so I can help the team win. And I was like, man, I want to give him a hug. You know what I mean? What a great kid. And uh, he's an athlete. He's an athlete. You know, I think the biggest learning curve for him will be getting off the line of scrimmage with all the press coverage you get, you know, especially in this conference. Um, but he does things you don't have to coach. <laughs> How would you have reacted to that as a college quarterback? I'd have gone out there and made a bunch of circus catches. One <laughs> I'd have showed the ball to, to, to my man over here, asked him to sign it. <laughs> Problem is, I couldn't have got open. <laughs> All right. Good. Thanks, yeah. Thanks you guys.